a cylindrical hole of radius b is bored through a sphere of radius a the volume of the remaining solid is we have to find now this is question of triple integral it is given a sphere of radius a suppose this is a sphere of radius a and a cylindrical hole like this a cylindrical hole of radius b now this is this is the radius of b radius of cylinder now these are x y and z axis this is x axis this is y axis axis and z axis now we have to find volume volume can be this dx dy dz and this is nothing and we, we have to find volume of this portion this is remaining portion and this this portion is bored out this cylindrical portion is bored out so remaining portion is this one now this triple integral we have to find equation of sphere is x square plus y square plus z square equal to a square as a is the radius of sphere then z equal to a square minus x square plus y square this is in within bracket and it will be a square minus r square convert into polar coordinate so z will go to from minus z to plus z so took two times two times this is value of z and integral of limit with respect to z running from 0 to a square minus r square dx dy now dx dy it means in xy plane now this is the radius of cylinder so x square plus y square equal to b square it means r equal to b this will work for polar coordinates so limit of this one will go from b to a this is the limit or radius for polar coordinate so it will be Zero to a, and this is zero to square root of a square minus r square, and this is dz and Jacobian r dr d theta, and theta is running from because zero to pi by two only first octant, so need to take four times. and 2 is from previous steps so this is the value of the remaining portion now this one is equal to 8 times 0 to pi by 2 0 to a and this is 0 to a square minus r square dz r dr d theta this is the expression or direct formula to find the value of this sphere it can be asked in formula based examiner can give 
formula this formula directly but in slightly change in limits or can be asked for a particular values of radius a and b then this question is very good for prestigious exams